It's been well over two decades since Tupac Shakur passed away, but to this day, his legacy remains as powerful as ever. On June 7, the iconic artist was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and his sister Sakiwa said, Shakur stated that the event speaks volumes to the lasting impact he's had on this world. To this day, Shakur's musical and creative contributions continue to reverberate and of course, there's also still talk about the women who were in his life. While it's known that Shakur was once married and had a meaningful relationship with Jada Pinkett Smith, he also had a few less publicized romances over the years. From actors to musicians to models, let's take a walk down memory lane and revisit the women who were fortunate enough to date Shakur. Madonna While Madonna keeps the details under wraps, Rosie Perez claimed she played matchmaker for the couple during a 2015 interview on The View. Perez and Shakur attended the 1993 Soul Train Music Awards together as friends after she had been stood up by her date. I went to the Soul Train Music Awards. And then Madonna comes over and looks at me, and she goes, girl, Perez revealed. I said, to Tupac, she wants to meet you, and he goes, hook that up. And I hooked it up, and I was very happy about it. Thus, a music power couple was born. Madonna and Tupac Shakur are first spotted together, by Snoop Dogg. In addition to the obvious appeal of icons dating icons, given their unmatched musical talent, one can only imagine the mid-90s gatherings they must have been part of. Consider, for example, the time when Snoop Dogg performed on Saturday Night Live in 1994. He was like, what's up, where ya at? Snoop recalls, seizing the opportunity, Snoop invites Tupac to swing by after his performance. There's a catch, though Tupac's bringing some weed along, as Snoop casually mentions. The anticipation builds as Snoop poses a question to the audience, guess who he pulls up with? And the surprise guest? None other than the iconic Madonna herself, who joins the scene. Adding an unexpected twist to the night, as they ride along, Snoop can't help but share the amusing detail that Madonna was simply along for the ride, creating a memorable moment in the annals of 90s music history. January 1995, Madonna and Tupac Shakur break up. For a long time, speculation surrounded the true nature of Madonna and Shakur's relationship. Was it just a fleeting romance, or was there more to it? The lack of public moments between them made it challenging to discern. In July 2017, a handwritten letter by Tupac from Clinton Correctional Facility was auctioned and sold for over $170,000. The letter, dated January 15, 1995, was addressed to his ex-girlfriend, Madonna, or M, as he often called her. While portions of the letter have been redacted, it delves into the factors behind their breakup and Tupac's deep emotions regarding the iconic singer. Tupac began the letter by expressing that he had waited a long time to write it, as he wanted to carefully choose words that would fully convey his feelings to his beloved. Immediately, he apologized to Madonna for not becoming the life partner she had always desired. He then discussed their breakup, mentioning that it might not be an issue for the world if she, as a white woman, were to date a black man. However, for Tupac, who had built his entire image and career representing the struggles of the black community, it would impact the image he had crafted. This legendary figure needed to maintain his image while continuing to fight against racial injustice through his music. And perhaps, with Tupac Shakur, he didn't think he could successfully achieve that if Madonna was by his side. The entire content of the letter resembles a Romeo and Juliet-like love story, lovers from two different worlds separated by political tensions. Heather Hunter Shakur and Hunter's first encounter happened when he reached out to her to star in his music video for How Do You Want It? in 1996, according to XXL. Initially hesitant, Hunter was persuaded by Shakur to return from NYC to LA for the project. In a 2016 interview with Vlad TV, she described the experience as amazing and expressed deep respect for him as a close and dear person. After moving back to LA, their connection evolved into a spiritual relationship. Hunter reminisced, it was everything. Tragically, three or four months later, Shakur passed away, leaving an indelible impact on her life. Sally Richardson Shakur and Sally Richardson first encountered each other in Hollywood in 1993, igniting a passionate romance. Richardson, recognized for her roles in films like A Low Down Dirty Shame and Antoine Fisher, was captivated by Shakur's profound personality, resulting in a brief yet intense relationship. 
Unfortunately, the couple couldn't withstand the trials of time, choosing to go their separate ways after a year of dating. Jada Pinkett Smith The connection between Tupac Shakur and Jada Pinkett Smith deviated from the typical romantic flair, revolving around a profound platonic love and admiration instead. They first met while attending the Baltimore School for the Arts in the 1980s, quickly establishing a bond that would last until Tupac's death in 1996. Although they were never lovers, Jada had a strong relationship with Tupac that nearly became romantic. However, Jada insisted there was no physical chemistry between them, even when they tested it out by kissing. Speaking to DJ Howard Stern in 2015, Jada explained, when you have two young people that have very strong feelings, but there was no physical chemistry between us at all. And it wasn't even just for me. In a recent interview, Jada Pinkett was asked whether she had any regrets about not taking her relationship with Tupac to a romantic level. She responded affirmatively, acknowledging that soulmates come in various forms, including children. Pinkett expressed her belief in the concept of past lives, suggesting that if it exists, she and Tupac might have shared experiences in different forms. Despite their deep bond, Tupac and Jada were never romantically involved. Emphasizing the diverse nature of soulmate connections, Morris stuck. The love story between the couple began in a New York club, where she approached the All Eyes on Me singer on the dance floor. Despite Tupac being constantly surrounded by hundreds of women due to his high-profile celebrity status, this didn't pose a significant hurdle for the couple to start their love journey. They immediately felt an instant connection, allowing Morris to carve a place for herself in Tupac's heart. During the rapper's legal troubles, Morris stuck around and turned her home into a sanctuary where Tupac could express his frustrations without fear of judgment. They willingly chose to be affectionate and care for each other, maintaining contact until Tupac's death in 1996. Morris encountered Tupac during a period of serious sex abuse charges in the 1990s. Meeting again a month later in another nightclub, Tupac remembered their initial conversation and expressed that he had been looking for her ever since. Although she initially refused an invitation to his hotel room, the duo went on a few dates later. Soon, the lovebirds exchanged their numbers and frequently stayed in contact. Morris appreciated that Tupac would take her out without having to ask. He began surprising her with unannounced visits, and it wasn't long before Tupac moved in with her. Morris attended the John Jay College of Criminal Justice while Tupac built his career. He consistently encouraged her to excel in her studies, urging her to aim for a grades in school. Although she didn't accompany him when his trial began, she did her best to make her space a retreat for the artist amid the negative press. Despite being sentenced to four years in prison, Tupac served only 10 months. Whitney Houston Whitney Houston, one of pop music's most revered vocalists, had a close relationship with Tupac Shakur. Their seemingly unlikely connection reportedly began in 1994, a tumultuous period in both their careers. Despite the challenges, they shared a brief relationship characterized by mutual respect and admiration for each other's work. The revelation that Tupac had a romantic involvement with music legend Whitney Houston surfaced after her death at the age of 48 in 2012. Her ex-husband Bobby Brown made this confession about his wife's affair in his 2016 memoir, Every Little Step, claiming she cheated on him with Tupac during their marriage. In the book, Brown asserted that Whitney and Tupac became involved after working together but provided no further details. The New Edition star alleged that his ex-wife engaged in her share of cheating with quite a few of the producers and artists, but Tupac was the only one named. Despite the apparent unconventional pairing, the bond they shared was described as both sincere and precious. Yo-Yo Fearless The two rappers initially crossed paths in a 90s recording studio. After casually meeting in different cities, Whitaker and Shakur developed a friendship that later blossomed into a romantic relationship. In a 2021 interview with Your Web Spotlight, the rapper shared, We were in love, and we loved each other until the day he died. As their relationship progressed, it transformed into a sibling-like bond near the end. She described Shakur as becoming like a brother, emphasizing that nothing negative caused their split. Reflecting on their connection, she said, We were just two people on the road who found each other, fell in love with each other. We spent many nights on the road together. Lisa Lopez Tupac Shakur and Lisa Lopez hit it off back in 92 after bumping into each other at an industry event. Lisa, also known as the Lively, Left Eye, 
from TLC, was hooked by Tupac's charisma. Their love story was wild and passionate, matching their bold personalities. Life got in the way with the craziness of their careers, and they slowly started going in different directions. Despite the intensity of their connection, it's like they were shooting stars, burning bright but drifting apart. And just like that, after a whirlwind romance that lit up the celebrity scene, Tupac and Left Eye's love story quietly faded away, a love that shone brilliantly but couldn't beat the challenges that life threw their way. Kadada Jones Shakur and Jones crossed paths for the first time at a club right before one of Tupac's trials in 1995, according to Vanity Fair. At that moment, Jones didn't talk to the rapper because of his past comments about her father, Quincy Jones, marrying her mother, Peggy Lipton. However, during their second encounter, Shakur apologized, and she eventually shared her phone number. By their third meeting, Tupac was apparently smitten. I love her, he told his mom, Afeni. She's going to be my wife, she's having my children. Faith Evans. Faith Evans, a renowned singer, had notable ties with Tupac Shakur. Tupac had been plotting to sleep with Evans since the time he was incarcerated in 1995. As Biggie Smalls and Faith Evans' marriage was coming to an end, Tupac seized the opportunity. Tupac was able to link with Faith Evans and the two would record a song together. Although the record was never released due to Bad Boy Records not approving the song, the damage had already been done. Since Tupac's claim of sleeping with Biggie's wife on the disc record, hit him up, many wondered if it was true or not. Faith Evans till this day denies every sleeping with Tupac. Evans does admit recording a song with Tupac entitled, Wonder Why They Call You by H. During Lifetime's limited series, Hopelessly in Love, Evans tells her side of the story. Their paths crossed in 1995 in Los Angeles during the height of Shakur's successful music career. Although short-lived, this relationship left a lasting impact, playing a role in the tensions that defined the hip-hop scene of the 90s. Hara Everett Tupac Shakur's involvement with Hara Everett, an emerging author, commenced in 1995 but was unfortunately cut short by the rapper's untimely death in 1996. Following his split from Morris, Shakur was involved in a short-lived affair with Hara Everett. Details on their romance are scarce, but Everett talked about Shakur in her autobiography, writing he was so down-to-earth and he was a different person behind closed doors. Tragically, the unfolding events abruptly ended their time together, leaving Everett mourning the connection she had formed with Shakur. Despite the short duration of their relationship, Everett holds cherished memories of Shakur and has even penned her experiences, highlighting the profound impact he had on her life. Rosie Perez Rosie Perez, an accomplished actress, shared a close bond with Tupac Shakur in the early 90s, marked by their friendship and occasional public appearances together. Although they weren't officially dating, they attended industry events as companions, with Shakur serving as Perez's official date at the Soul Train Music Awards in 1993. During an appearance on Watch What Happens Live, alongside Kaylee Cuoco to promote their series, the flight attendant, Perez reminisced about her cherished moments with Shakur. She recalled a poignant photo from the Soul Train Music Awards, where they were holding hands, revealing that Shakur had comforted her after hearing her cry on the phone. Cuoco praised Perez's captivating stories, and when asked about her date in the photo, Perez playfully identified him as a rapper, emphasizing their enduring friendship. Perez shared various memories of touring with Shakur, cracking jokes, and enjoying each other's company, expressing how those times marked the beginning of their deep friendship. Despite not being romantically involved, the lasting connection between Perez and Shakur remains a fond memory for fans. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button, so you never miss our upcoming videos. See you in the next one.